Good morning, everybody. Thank you for watching Two Minutes with Paul. I am your host. I'm Paul. It's the 29th of March, 2024. It's Good Friday, and I'm talking to you about 6 o'clock in the morning from Roseville, California. So as cliche as it is and as corny as it is, I am going to reflect on what Good Friday means to me. You can't have Easter without Good Friday. Good Friday means to me following through. Good Friday means that a man chose to go to the cross and die on the cross for my sins. I'm a broken man. Many people would tell you, let me just look at the hat, I'm broken. Yet on the other hand, I'm full of Jesus' love. He's in my DNA. Um, in 1984, I went to a Chi Alpha meeting because I had a friend in Chi Alpha at University of Pacific. And she was doing things, writing scripture on hearts and taping them all over the wall and giving away books and music and clothes because they were not godly. And I went, what is the world's going on? So then I became Catholic. I got scared. But yeah, I saw, you know, 40 years later, how powerful Jesus was to that young lady. And how powerful he is for me. And I keep using the story. His power is infectious. So Good Friday is about making the ultimate sacrifice for Jesus did for us. But we also make sacrifices. I had an educational leader tell me in April 2021. Hey, Paul, I know Jesus Christ is important to you. But he's got to stay in the parking lot. Okay, seriously. I mean, it's inappropriate to have that on a high school campus. Well, then sacrifice came. December of 2021, I walked away from public education. I didn't walk away from people, but apparently I guess I did. But if I had to do it all over again, I'd do it. There's no doubt it hurts, but it doesn't hurt like being on a cross. It doesn't hurt like being scourged, but it still hurts. It's worth it, everybody. Pain will stop eventually. It's gonna stop. I and it's almost it's almost stopping. It is stopping, it's almost stopped. So I'm verbal processing right now what Good Friday means to me, and I've gone over my time. Dear Jesus Christ, thank you so much for that sacrifice, that commitment you made. Thank you for all the gifts you give me and to my family and to friends and even my enemies. I hope that more people go to you this weekend. Your beautiful, your beautiful name, Jesus. Love you. Love you. Thank you so much. It's been longer than two minutes. Sorry. Bye.